Alright, uh, for this video, I think we're gonna try something a little new here. I'm gonna do a little voiceover. Uh, if y'all like this and want more of it, I can get a real microphone, but right now I'm just using a headset, like a gaming headset thing I have. Uh, but anyways. Uh, so today we're casting this, uh, hand wheel. Something I've never done before is a one piece mold. Uh, I tried using my old, uh, green sand I made. And it didn't turn out so good with that. It kept wanting to pull away, so I broke down and bought some of this nice pressure bond. And I'm glad I did. Alright, uh, so from just watching Mr. Pete do this, I watched a couple of his videos a while ago. Uh, just what you're gonna do here is just get everything down to the split line to where the casting was cast originally, you can tell on there. Which is just like the middle of all the pieces. So I'm just digging out the sand here and uh, taking it down to where it's even on both sides so it'll pull out of there easy. Alright, well it was about here that I realized uh, I didn't have any way to pull this pattern out. I forgot to put some screw holes in that plug in the middle. I had to make that plug because this obviously has a hollow center to go in a shaft off that old south bend lathe. So I had to restart and do it again. And I drilled two holes in there and put this piece of tape over it so that they didn't feel sand. And you see here I'm taking the tape off to put the screws in and uh, pull this thing out. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but I got a little tear out around these edges where I'm pressing down here. Which isn't that big of a deal, because I, I turned that down and just filed it off or ground it off on the belt sander. Uh, the inside parts though stayed good, so that's that's good. But these are outside uh, where this lot of the, uh, what do you call it? The two halves come together. I wasn't too much worried about that, because I can cut that off there pretty easy.
Alright, uh, here on this side you can see I got a little place where the sand came out. I guess I haven't packed tight enough, but it shouldn't matter over here. I just cut it away and packed a little in there to make the funnel to pour the aluminum in. Uh, but I would have liked for it to stay, but I guess it doesn't matter. I uh, really enjoy doing the sand casting and stuff. I mean, if y'all see me drop some aluminum in here, if y'all want to see more, give me some ideas of what I should cast. You know, maybe make a nicer furnace here. Uh, anything. I mean, I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, I really enjoy working with the aluminum, and I've done some brass before. Alright, so here we're just uh, degassing a little bit and pulling the slag off the top, which is not much because these are uh, precast little ingots I have left over from some other stuff. Alright, so here we go. Uh, it's not a really good spot to this video right here. It's not good lighting, but it doesn't matter. Here's the shakeout. Uh, like I said before, see, we got a little. Uh, here, I'll show it later. We got a little bit of squeeze out, I guess I'll call it, along the line where they come together. And uh, that was fine. I just filed it off and made it like new. rough spots here where it came together but we can file that out and I, I gotta say I'm pretty happy with it uh, when we get this cut off and probably put it in the lathe and bore it out do a little filing and that'll be that See you there. Uh, I'll put a link for that up in the top and as always thanks for watching